Microscopic robots, a thousand times smaller than a grain of salt, are coming to an artery near you. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net, and we need to take a look at this. A paper published in the journal, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, details the work of physicists from Cornell University and their advances in robots made from graphene and glass that are the size of three red blood cells. These microscopic robots are known as biomorphs because they are tiny machines that bend when exposed to certain stimuli, such as electricity or heat or certain chemical compounds. They can transform nearly instantly from a flat 2D structure into a 3D object. You can see the different types of them in this photo here. And according to researcher Paul McEwen, we are trying to build what you might call an exoskeleton for electronics. Right now you can make little computer chips that do a lot of information processing, but they don't know how to move or cause something to bend. And that's the ability these exoskeletons will allow. These robots are built using something known as atomic layer deposition. Picture, if you will, a uh, painting, but at an atomic level. They take atoms of glass, atoms of graphene, layer them all out into the shape they need it to take. And the reason these work is because the two materials react differently to certain stimulus. So while one section might bend or flip, the other section will stay hard and rigid. And this allows them to construct all these truly amazing shapes. Another thing that makes this so exciting is their robots are compatible with semiconductor manufacturing. So these can be made on massive scales using the same type of equipment they use to make our chips for our computers. And because of how small and how strong this graphene robot is, they're nearly indestructible and they can handle any load that's put upon them. Like I said, they could be used for electronics or delivering chemicals, medicines into somewhere, retrieving small samples from something. Really, the possibilities are limitless. And because of all of our advances in computing, you can equip these microscopic robots with the processing power of the Voyager spacecraft, the craft that was launched in 1977. So if we can use that technology to explore the cosmos, what could we do with it on a microscopic level? Well, now I'm gonna leave it up to you. What do you think about microscopic nanoscale robots that can carry electronics on them? Is this a good idea or a bad idea? Will this lead to advances in science, better understanding of the human body? Or could it be brain control? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And on that note, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for stopping in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button and subscribe over here so you know when I upload something new. I put out new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I hope to see you here again. And until next time, have fun and be safe.